What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to fix an annoying issue that could be affecting you if you're on Windows and you're an avid GitHub or Git user. For example, I use Stable Diffusion a lot and when I'm trying to update submodules, as you can see here, Git submodule update, whenever I run this command here, I get a ton of errors thrown back at me saying file name is too long. Why is this? Well, Windows has a rather short file name limit by default. We can change this, but the simplest way around this issue is to move something from, say, our desktop to the root of our drive. For example, I can move it from my desktop and the AI folder to, say, C drive AI making a new AI folder here, for example. That would be the simplest solution, but if you're still getting this and files are nested way too deep in different folders or just have names that are way too long, we can work around this. By default, the Windows API has a limitation of 260 characters for a file path. These ones here are obviously just a bit too long, but they're attached to C users, my username, desktop, and then maybe the folder name. So how do we get around this? Well, in Windows 10 and above, we can lift the max path limitation. We can change the max path limitations of 260 and set it all the way up to up to a really absurd number. In the description down below, you'll find a PowerShell command. Hit start, type in PowerShell, right click and run as administrator. Now inside of PowerShell, I'll paste in the command and hit enter. Then we've now enabled long paths. To enable it for git, we'll run git config hyphen hyphen system space core.long paths true. When we've done so, we should be able to run commands like before and they should work a bit happier. For example, this one here git submodule update in a recursive queue. Running the command again, this time after updating files, we get to the same git submodule update, but this time we don't get any errors thrown back at us. We've now successfully solved the issue of long paths not working on our Windows PC. Sweet. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick guide. Hopefully you found this useful. Mine has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.